The Boeing 777 is one of the safest large airliners ever built. In nearly 30 years of service, it has logged tens of millions of flight hours, with one of the lowest accident rates in aviation history. It was Boeing's first jet with digital fly-by-wire, blending envelope protection with traditional yokes. Behind the controls, the 777 carries triple redundancy across hydraulics, avionics and electrics. And from day one, it set the standard for twin-jet ETOPS, certified to fly over 180 minutes from diversion airports, proving two engines could cross oceans as safely as four. With over 1,700 delivered, the 777 fleet has only suffered a handful of hull loss accidents. Many were not design flaws at all, but extraordinary events like Malaysia Airlines 17 being shot down, or Malaysia Airlines 370's disappearance. Even Asiana 214's crash at San Francisco was tied to operational factors, not fundamental engineering. Statistically, the 777 sits at the very top for safety per million departures. Compared to peers, the difference is stark. The Boeing 747 has a strong record, but more hull losses across decades of higher cycles. The Airbus A340 is also exceptionally safe, though far fewer were built. The MD-11, by contrast, became notorious for higher accident rates. In that field, the 777 has consistently ranked among the lowest fatal accident rates of any wide body in history. The 777 proved that a long-range twin jet could be not just efficient, but supremely reliable. Airlines adopted it as a backbone for global fleets, and regulators used it as the benchmark for future certification. From the engines to the structure to the software, it raised the standard for safety that modern jets like the 787 and A350 now build on. In three decades, the 777 has become the definition of a safe widebody. But here's the question. Do you trust Boeing's yoke and redundancy philosophy more than Airbus's side stick and protection logic?